forward to that. Liz, Liz Truss, with a speech which many will find discordant, certainly more so than Eminem, and grateful to him for his contribution. In that. <laughs> what, 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 what was that speech about, Kate and George? Is it is it Liz Truss now alone in the boat, furiously bailing ten fathoms down? What is she doing? This is Liz Truss. This is the start of Liz Truss's comeback. She, I mean, look. Uh, we, we, you know, we're taking the mick a bit, but Liz Truss thinks that her, idea, her ideas were legitimate in the first place. She thinks they were too quick, she didn't explain them well enough, but she thinks that they have resonance and she's not going to stop making her points. And she will be a thorn in the Prime Minister's side at conference. She will find an audience for what she is selling at the Conservative Party conference. Remember, she was the choice of the membership and the Prime Minister was not. I think the concern for the Conservative Party is that actually, you know, some of the things that Liz Truss is saying don't necessarily chime with public opinion right now. And that's going to make it harder for the Tories to make their case into a general election if she is stirring up a wing of the party that Rishi Sunak would rather were left unstirred. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you can argue that the, you know, the, the, the thought behind it, you know, tax cuts as a stimulus to economic growth, that argument isn't over. But the, the idea that it worked, that it was a good idea, I mean, that's... That's, that's beyond all pale. It's the hubrisometer. Dials right up to 11, isn't it? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's incredible. I think to her credit, at least she was presenting her argument at a, the Institute for Government, which is a very serious think tank, and they invited along all the economics editors, so she was presenting her argument in front of a fairly critical audience. So that you give a kudos for that. She wasn't hiding away in some right-wing think tank behind closed doors. But honestly, I mean, look, the... The, policy, the policies she implemented, everyone agrees we need to go for growth. I don't think anyone disagrees no. with that. That is axiomatic. Everybody says that. The way she went about it, she basically, she did crash the markets. I mean, there's no question about that. £45 billion pounds of unfunded um, tax cuts. But it's not just that. It's the, other, it's the other thing that Kate said is about the stuff she's advocating just doesn't work with the electorate. It's election-losing mm. politics. 